Hey, I am back with Sun and Gemini, Mars and Pisces. And wow, as in as creative and imaginative and drama dramaful and like out of the box this placement can be. It can be just as hard to get things done. Like literally impossible. You know, people can look at you sometimes and be like, I don't even know what you what are you doing? Like, what are you here for? And forget staying on a job that where they're expecting you to perform a certain way, where they're expecting you to be a certain way. Forget sitting there saying like, okay, I have an idea and I'm about to bring this idea into fruition. You could literally be in two different worlds and two different environments, mentally and emotionally. It could just be like cringe, cringe worthy. Is that a word? Is that how you put that together? Cringe worthy, cringing like that to be in a cringe like state. When it comes to getting something done, literally, it could bring you to tears almost to just like execute something. So be careful with this because you have all the ideas in the world. Okay. You could even have the support, like the people there to help you do it. Okay. You could have the resources, but you, it's like, what do I do with this? Okay. So let me tell you first, you need to invest in a quality notebook or pen, paper, or something to where you can write things down. And I wouldn't tell you not to write your ideas down. Write as many ideas as you want. It doesn't matter how far out there they sound. You can go back later and see if you can make practical sense of it. Even if you can't make practical sense, like is it something that you can sell? Is it something that you can do? Okay. And have those written down. And then go back and look at them after you've written down and try to expand on every last one of them. Yes, you could try to see, fill it out, see how you feel about things. But if you stay too long and trying to fill out how you're going to act on something, you're going to miss the train. You are going to miss the train, sweetie. That's what I'm saying. You know, the, this, the first step to really, you know, manifesting something or bringing something into um, creation that you want to do is writing it down. Okay. And just adding on to it. and then. Taking those steps to do it. We're not just going to write it down. We're going to say, okay, I'm going to take the steps to do it. Whether it's you're turning on your computer and you're getting on YouTube or you're, you're going to work, you are going to school, you are pursuing a passion you have, you are doing a hobby, you are committed to something and you got to see it through whatever it is. You got to actually act on it. If not, your mind gets in the way, you start overthinking it and you start overfilling it and you're never doing. That is the problem or I don't want to call it a problem, but that is the energy when that comes along with this placement. So you really got to get into the act of doing because you don't want to be, you don't really want to be in a place of where it's like other people having to do stuff for you. You know, um, you could be very generous though, you know, especially to your family and, um, people, situations that you actually care about. Like you can give your all, be there, show up at the functions, especially the family functions, you know, run errands and everything. You could do all of that. And that's why people really do look for you for your support. And they could even sometimes misuse you or run over you if you're not really willing to stand up and say, okay, look, enough is enough. You know, I can't do anymore or you're putting more on me than I can bear Whatever, you know, you got to be willing to say enough is enough. And, um, you know, uh, the thing about it is you could say one thing, but do another. You could say one thing and do another, but people don't understand this because you thinking one thing and feeling another. So it just really comes out like that. And it could be, you know, miscommunication with people. And I know that we're not talking about the sign of Mercury or the Mercury, um, plant, the planet Mercury placement. We are talking about the sun in the Mars placement, but it doesn't matter because communication happens more than just verbally. You know, we can do a gesture, make a face, and we can send a communication, a line of communication over to the people. And they're looking like, oh my gosh, did she just roll her eyes at me? You know, or a vibe, you can send a vibe off to where people send vibes to you, um, to where, you know, before you even approach them, like, you know, they don't want to be bothered with you. You see what I'm saying? So it could just miss... This could lead to miscommunication. And by the way, a lot of y'all have that ability to, um, 
y'all have that ability to sense things on people, okay? Sense things on people. And you can also say things to people, flip out, and then be very remorseful or sorry or the next day. You can also disappear, like be behind the scenes, especially if you feel like people don't want to deal with you or you signed up for too much things that you are feel like you're obligated to do and you can't do them. You could literally <laughs> go off and, and like to yourself. As a matter of fact, you don't need a lot of people. You're good with you, your lover, your family. Okay. And sometimes it's even hard to explain the way you feel because you want to go and you want to explain the way you think. It doesn't make any sense, but you're like, man, I feel, I feel what, 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 what? Oh, I'm thinking this, you know? Um, and the reason why I'm associating that communication with the Mars sign is because usually we do what we feel. All of it is forms of communication. It's not just verbally. It's in body language. And the thing about it is, like, it, at a job, like I said, that you guys don't want to be at, wow. But y'all, I want to see some of y'all write some plays. I want to see some of y'all get into, like, the spiritual arts. I want to see some of y'all, you know, like get into drama. I want to see some of you guys... Like, really take things that you think in your head and that you dream about. Because you could literally live, like, not on this planet. Your body is here, but you can literally be in your head and your mind and spirit form all day long. Almost like you're a freaking zombie. Like, people could be talking to you and you could be like, oh, yeah, huh? The thing about it is, I will say this. Whenever you need to be supportive of somebody, you will. You know what I'm saying? You will listen. You will lend a hand. You will be there to support them, like I said. But sometimes they got to be like, wait, you know, snap, snap. Did you just hear what I just told you? And you're like, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that again. But a lot of you guys, like I said, writing, some of you guys can even do teaching. The way that it is, especially like teaching um, something creative or it doesn't have to necessarily be creative, just things that you know or just teaching in period in general. And you can add your own imaginary, imaginary, oh, imaginary flair to it. Like, seriously, there should be nothing where you where you create your own schedule and you do your own thing. There, there should be nothing stopping you from that because we have the Internet. We have all this stuff. And even if you feel like, OK, well, I got to work a job that I don't want to work right now and you just really feel like you got to work it, having something that you can do on the side could help you um, and encourage you more. It can help you feel better like when you're at work because you're like, oh my God, I got this thing that I have to look forward to. But like I said, it's like you you can literally be out in space sometimes. So you got to practice on grabbing some of that stuff that you got from out of space, you know, and coming into um, your physical body, like being alive in there, it, establishing focal points for yourself by going and say, okay, let me snap out of it. Okay, what did I write down again? Okay, well, let me try to work and get this done today. All right? But you could be attracted to people, like creative people that are, are they communicate well, but at the same time, they're more of a, a, a gesture type communication. Like they're more in tune with the vibe that's going on. You don't got to keep verbatim, 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 verbatim telling them, Oh, I care about you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Even though you may want to hear that yourself, you kind of want people that understand, you know, like you don't have to keep reminding them or reinforcing them. Like they know because they know through the things you do with them, through the time you spend with them, you know, that, that you care. And you do have a bit of a rebellious streak. So it could seem like difficult when people are interacting with you. It could seem very difficult and it could be hard for you to pursue things and actually get those things done. All right. And you're very sensitive and you're sensitive to other people in the way they feel. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, um, you probably going to be one of those people that say, you know, I'm not going to approach her because it looks like she's not feeling too good today. You know, and, and be the one to buy the roses and to get well cards, you know. 
but um, you also could have the drama, the drama, drama, drama. Like whenever, see, you could go between from having the drama, like if somebody really ticks you off and you flip, you could get very emotional to the point of where people are like, man, what's wrong with you? You know, you know, what are you emotional about this for? You could get either very emotional, highly emotional, or you can distance yourself. You'll do one of those two things. So you could take some time to really see like, man, what am I, who am I, what do I feel? So if you're doing these things and you're not really understanding the way you're feeling or the way you're thinking, just remember that it's because you have this placement. It's not your fault. But becoming aware of it is at least half the battle. You got this. And this has been Sun and Gemini, Mars and Pisces. I'm Butterfly to Light. I'll be back. Peace.